When we look up at the night sky, we see a sea of stars. But although there are trillions of light sources in space, the entirety of the cosmos appears dark. How can this be? The real reason why space is dark will surprise you. This apparent discrepancy in the night sky, known as Olber's Paradox, raises questions that have intrigued astronomers for centuries. The answer lies hidden deep within the foundations of our universe, revealing secrets about its structure, age, and the nature of light itself. Imagine you have 20 or 100 small LED lights in an otherwise dark room. These small lights would be enough to light up a room significantly, but in space, the effect seems quite different. Trillions of brightly shining stars do not seem to be able to illuminate the universe even approximately. It appears predominantly dark or black, yet every single one of these stars is a blazing hot furnace that emits gigantic amounts of light and heat. Our sky on Earth is only bright when it is directly illuminated by our own star. If we turn to the side facing away from the sun, stars begin to twinkle in the night sky, but the sky and the Earth are largely dark. Let's go on an imaginary journey to discover the mystery of light and darkness. At night, you are standing in a huge open field with a flashlight in your hand. All around you are friends with their own flashlights. Some are very close to you, others are far away. Now imagine that each of these flashlights represents a star in space. Outdoors, the effect of the light is very different from indoors. You will never be able to illuminate the surroundings really brightly with your flashlights. The light fades more and the surroundings remain predominantly dark despite your light sources. Space is also not a closed space. At least we haven't found any boundaries yet and the distances between the stars are huge. Compared to the large spaces between the stars, there are very few light sources and there are no objects in the empty space that can reflect light. Light therefore travels and scatters very differently in the universe than in a room. What is still exciting in this context is the fact that, despite this plausible representation of how light is distributed, there is no real explanation as to why space appears black or dark. Olber's Paradox Explained The physician and astronomer Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers thought roughly the same thing when he looked up at the sky sometime in the 18th century and saw all the stars and darkness. In the 18th century, people's rooms were still lit by fireplaces, candles, or oil lamps. Olbers wondered why the bright points of light could no longer illuminate the sky. These thoughts gave rise to Olbers' paradox and the question of why the night sky is dark, even though there are an infinite number of stars in the universe occupied astronomers for centuries. In Olbers' time, people still thought that the universe was static and a limited space. All objects had a fixed place in it, and somehow people also thought that all the stars visible from Earth were arranged next to each other, or at least in close proximity to each other. At the time, no one had the slightest idea how big the universe really was. That the starlight we see comes in part from stars that existed millions or billions of years ago, and whose light had been traveling to us for such an incredibly long time. Olbers and his colleagues also knew nothing about the fact that the light of a large distant star can shine brighter in the night sky than the light of a smaller nearby star. From the beginning of the 20th century, astronomers knew about the true extent of the universe, about the movements of all objects through space, about gravity and dynamics. Later came the knowledge that the universe is probably not infinitely old. It has a beginning, which we call the Big Bang. Since then, the universe has begun to expand and it's still not old enough for light to have reached us from everywhere. Some stars are so far away that their light hasn't even reached us yet. And because the universe is expanding, some stars are even moving so fast away from us that their light will never reach us. If we were to transfer the real dimensions back to the space with the LEDs, the idea of a single LED in an otherwise zappingly dark football stadium would not be enough to describe the true dimensions in the universe. Let's get to the bottom of the true dimensions of the universe. Imagine that the sun is a bright shining orange. If we place this glowing orange in Berlin, the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, would be about as far away as a second orange in Madrid. This makes it clear how huge the space in between is, and it becomes clear that it is a true miracle that the light of the orange in Berlin is visible in Madrid, just as we can see the light of stars thousands of light years away. We humans underestimate the dimensions of the void in the universe when we look up at the sky and see the sea of stars. The thousands of points of light that we see compressed together in a cluster in the night sky are in fact 
unimaginably far apart in terms of time and space. Their trails of light only appear like a bright carpet to our eyes. But that still doesn't explain why the space between the stars is dark or black. In reality, interstellar space is not black at all. Let's travel through space again and explore only the space between the light sources. The space between the stars is often described as a vacuum, but it's not completely empty, even if it looks that way. It is filled with very thinly distributed gas and dust. Since the Voyager probes were the first man-made objects to fly through this space, we know for the first time exactly what is really there. Before that, scientists had made estimates and, apart from the density of the particles, these largely matched the actual observations. You can imagine interstellar space as a very light breeze that you can barely feel, or as dust particles that you can only see in sunlight but that are everywhere in the air. In this interstellar space, there are also magnetic fields and particles that are blown away by the sun and other stars, as well as cosmic rays traveling through the universe. However, the density of particles and gases is so low that we can almost speak of empty space. And as there is so little matter, almost nothing can reflect light, so it is dark here. However, the exciting question arises as to what interstellar space would look like if it were illuminated. Just think of the planet Pluto. It orbits so far away from the sun that it is almost invisible. All around Pluto, it's dark, and that's why we haven't had a picture of the planet for a long time. Just because it is dark where Pluto is located, or in other words, there is no light, does not mean that Pluto has no colors. However, we were only able to see these when the New Horizons probe exposed Pluto with a special camera system. It could be similar with interstellar space. If we were to illuminate it, it would perhaps be purple or we would recognize structures that we cannot yet see because there is no light. So interstellar space itself is neither black nor dark. It just lacks light. Although the empty space is traversed by light, it does not illuminate the space because there is no matter to reflect or scatter the light. The light from our star is reflected from the surface and scattered by particles in the atmosphere. The darkness of the universe can therefore only be explained by the absence of light. However, we do not know what color the universe or the empty spaces would be if there were light. Does dark matter color the universe black? The question of whether dark matter colors space black is an interesting one. The name suggests that dark or black matter colors the universe dark. After all, dark matter is said to make up 85% of the universe. However, dark matter is not matter in that sense. It is an idea of an invisible substance that functions like a kind of glue in the universe. Researchers discovered the existence of this matter by observing galaxies. Previous ideas about physical theories have not been sufficient to explain the formation and dynamics of movement within galaxies. There must be another binding agent, and this is said to be dark matter. The trick about dark matter is that it is invisible. It is therefore not really dark, just as black holes are not black either, but also invisible. This form of matter is invisible or dark because it does not emit light and does not reflect it either. Dark matter is therefore dark because it is invisible and the surrounding space is dark. If then the mysterious space colors the dark matter dark and not vice versa. Why can't astronauts see stars? It sounds crazy and yet it is true. Astronauts can hardly see any stars in space even though the view of the stars there should actually be limitless. The question of why this is the case has to do with various aspects of light perception and camera technology. When we see images or videos from space, the sky appears strangely black and no or hardly any stars are visible. The fact that astronauts do not see any stars in space is only partly true. Under certain conditions, the starry sky becomes visible, but the optics are different from what we know from Earth. Firstly. It is important to understand that the human perception of light is highly dependent on environmental conditions. In space, where there is no atmospheric light to dim the stars or cloud the view, the stars are actually much clearer and more brilliantly visible than on Earth. The problem of star visibility in space often occurs because of the stark contrast between the bright sun and the deep black of space. When astronauts are in sunlight, the intensity of the sunlight can greatly constrict the pupils, reducing the eye's sensitivity to the fainter starlight. This can result in stars being less visible or not visible at all, while the eyes are adapted to the bright light. In a brightly lit area such as the International Space Station or during a spacewalk in sunlight, 
Astronauts' eyes are optimized for bright conditions and are less sensitive to the faint light of stars. However, in the darkness of space, away from direct sunlight or other light sources, the eyes can adapt and make stars clearly visible. Astronauts have reported that they can see stars clearly and in large numbers in the shadowy parts of a spaceflight or during the night side of Earth orbit. Most images and videos taken by spacecraft or astronauts often do not show stars because the cameras are focused on very bright objects such as the Earth, the space station, or the astronauts themselves. In order to capture both these objects and the distant and much fainter stars at the same time, the camera settings would have to be adjusted, which rarely happens without specific intent. Long exposure times would make the stars visible, but at the same time could overexpose closer objects. Subscribe to the channel now if you want to see more amazing videos.